Hey, good people. Welcome back to Beauty and the Frizz. My name is Kara. Whether you're new or returning, thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out with me today. So by the time you're seeing this video, I will have had my first day of school. I'm excited. You know what I mean? It's going to be interesting. So just wanted to share that little piece of information. Now, you clicked on it. No, it's not the same video. This is the remix. So if you watch my first video of its freaking bats, you know, I had some freaking trouble with these freaking shots. And so today I'm going through my eyeshadow collection to see, can I dupe the shimmers that are in this palette so I can make this workable? Because as of right now, I probably won't pick this palette up again. I hate to say it. So if you want to see me remix this palette with some dupes, keep watching this video. And if you love makeup, if it's your therapy, your escape, and you especially love eyeshadow palettes, and among everything else too though. Definitely consider subscribing and joining the community because I'd love to have you back. All right, let's get started. Okay, so first of all, I just wanna share, this is another one of my headband wigs. I've been wearing it in a few videos at this point. And matter of fact, I've just been wearing it, period. I've been wearing it since I had the blue wig on because it has a twofold purpose for me. One, I told y'all the humidity and me are not friends. It is just doing too much. I wore my hair out yesterday and it's just, I, I just can't, you guys. I'm sorry, I can't. It might be lazy, but lazy wins, okay? Secondly, I may have mentioned a while back, I have a very nervous habit of pulling my hair right here in the back. I don't know what it is, but it's like, it's a rougher texture and it just feels really good. But now I'm concerned because it's short and I told you guys I'm gonna be locking my hair soon, actually on September 18th, and I'm gonna get like two strand twists. And I'm like, need to talk to the lady like, can you put some hair in here to make it match the rest of it? Because you can't just have the middle being short. That's gonna look a hot mess. So anyway, this really stops me from pulling my hair too. So, and it looks, why oh, my camera cut off talking about the card is full? Didn't wanna hear me talking about my, my wig. But I think it looks really good. So I'm gonna link this in the description box because I got this off of Amazon and it is just so great. I'm just so, I'm just so happy about it because I did feel kind of way at first, but now nah, I don't care. If somebody wants to come do my hair for me. All right, let's get to the point of the video. So, okay, let me find the words. Color story in this palette is absolutely everything. It's unique, it's different, just the whole vibe. I absolutely love it. I had no problem with the mattes in this palette really enjoyed them but the shimmers the shimmers were not shimming and i don't know i've heard mixed reviews since my video but it's just not working for me i tried them again and i just cannot do it so i actually started building a cart because i can't remember what brand it was they were having a sale and then i was like nope let me see if I have something that I can use in my collection to dupe this color story because I don't want to change this color story. Some palettes I'm like, mm, don't like this color. I like all the colors in here. So I'm going to show you some eyeshadows that I'm thinking about replacing. Now, the cool thing about this palette is it is magnetic. So that's what led me to do this. This magnet that my dad left around here is great for pulling out the shadows. So let's just revisit its freaking bats. So we have Handbook, we have Apparition, and then we have Sam, Zero, and Grim. So these five shadows, just not one of them, not a one was working for me. Pulled out some of my eyeshadow singles and I keep them in these Adept palettes that are also on Amazon. And I'll show you the ones that I'm working with. Actually, I think it might've been smarter for me to transfer these over. Let me transfer them over so we can get just, so we can look, so we can be more focused, hold on. Now I do have this other Adept palette that's like, it's a little foldable situation. It's kind of bulky, but then it, opens like that and then it opens like this oh y'all this is actually 
this will be in another video probably maybe i don't know but this is a dupe for the mac palette but i don't want to talk about it because i should have just got that palette like i said i was gonna get it that's what i should have done but now it's sold out so maybe it'll come back maybe it won't i don't want that dupe version i want the new formulas so here are my dupe shades i'm gonna go through them and just show you the ones that i'm considering um the ones that i'm having a hard time with are the purples so we will compare them to the original but right now i just want to highlight these beautiful shadows so this shade is pear tree and it's by sydney grace also by sydney grace is the shade hydra which is such a gorgeous shade y'all and another one by sydney grace we have the shade cadet for the purples i'm considering mythical by sydney grace this one is called dark matter this is by tara moon major tom's a junkie by copacetic cosmetics and lastly moonlight magic this is a new one i have by pretties for your face i'm gonna go through and swatch the originals compared to the dupes i'll show them to you and then we'll try to figure out which purple shade is going to be the best so i'm just gonna snap this out of here there we go and we're starting with handbook quick side by side comparison so here is handbook here is pear tree by sydney grace i don't know let's see if i can get closer i don't know if you can tell how much smoother the sydney grace shade is this shade it just it's it's chalky even to the touch you know but i think these are pretty close i think they're close enough that I would consider them dupes and I'm gonna go ahead and put this one in the palette. And there we go. Let's go to the shade Sam. So here's Sam, here is Cadet by Sydney Grace. Okay, so here's Sam, here is Cadet. This shade right here, y'all, is, oh my God. And you know, part of me felt really <laughs> bad because I never fooled with my Sydney Gray shades. They are so special to me, but I'm like, they're so special to the point where I'm saving them and not using them. So I told y'all how I do that. So no, they're going in the palette because now I know I'm going to use this palette. So I'm going to go ahead and pop the cadet in for Sam. And there you have it. You can't even tell the difference. And the last shade that I'm 100% sure of is the shade Grim, which is this teal blue. And I'm going to swap this out for Hydra. Now Hydra is a very special shade. I would almost consider this kind of a duochrome. Let me see. But it's it's got a bit of gold in there that really makes this shade special. And here they are side by side. And even though Hydra is a different shade, I, I, I can't say this is a dupe. I'm going to love having Hydra in this palette. So let me show you. So there is Grim. There's Hydra. And as you can see, Hydra does have a bit of a gold flip, which is really going to add something special to my new It's Freaking Bats palette. So it's going to go ahead and pop it in. And there we go. I mean, you can't even tell the difference. So Apparition and Zero are the ones that I kind of had some trouble with. Like I said, um, I have four purples here that we're going to be working with to see if we can dupe the vibes. Going to do a little bit of swatching here so we can figure this out now just to show you all of the purples together. We have Apparition and Zero here and then my potentials here on the top. So let's just go ahead and we're gonna just swatch. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with the shade. Oops, wait a minute. Oh, uh oh, hold on. Starting with, is this Apparition? Yeah. So Apparition is a beautiful duochrome shade with a purple to gold flip. It's, it's just how it looks on my eyes. I, I, it's gorgeous. This one actually swatches really, really nice. So now I'm gonna swatch the dupes and we'll see which one we think is the closest. There might be a more efficient way of doing this. This is when I see YouTubers, like they don't show themselves in the video, but I'm just sitting in a chair. So my setup is not like that just yet. And my battery's about to die, so. All right, so if I had to choose, yeah, this is, this is a bit tricky for me, but. So I, I would definitely take this one out and probably this one. 
I mean, this one kind of has a, a flip in it though. Honestly, for right now, I'm going to go with Mythical by Sydney Grace, which is this one here. Now, I know it's not the same. This one might be pretty close though, which is, oops, okay. I think I almost broke that shade. This one here is the Major Tom's a Junkie shade. I'm gonna go with Mythical right now by Sydney Grace. And I'm just gonna go ahead and pop that right into where apparition was yep right here and now we're gonna look at the shade zero now zero is another beautiful shade now remember saying this is gonna be this is probably one of my favorites in the palette it's another duochrome it's got kind of a blue purple tone and there is definitely a bit of a color flip there. Let's see, I'm gonna swatch the three shades that I have left. So let's start with Major Tom's A Junkie by Copacetic. Not bad, but I don't think it has the, the blue that this one has. All right, now we've got, ooh, this is gorgeous, Moonlight Magic. Is that what that's called, Moonlight Magic? Yes by Pretties For Your Face. That's really pretty. And then we have the shade Dark Matter. Now, that's by Terra Moons. I'm gonna actually swatch that on the other side of zero. Okay, now you know what? I know we're trying to do dupes, but I'm going with Dark Matter because that looks bomb. Look at that. No, that's, that's going in. That's going in, I'm sorry. So here's the new palette, you guys. I'm gonna use this one. The way that it was, you were not gonna get me to use this palette ever again in life because we love our shimmers. And like when they're not shimming the way that they should be or they're accentuating texture, it makes it unpleasant to use. You know what I'm saying? So I am very happy with this. And now it can be in the forefront of my collection because, you know, I think there was a lot of hype in this palette and I'm not saying that the palette didn't meet the hype because the color story, like I said, is, is something that is very unique that I do not have in anything else that I own. But when, if you don't enjoy putting it on, then what good is the color story? You know what I mean? And I'm not saying it in a bad way. I'm just saying because makeup is so, so personal this just didn't work for me but for some other people they may not have had a problem with the shimmer so to each his own no judgment zone safe space let's get into a look with the new palette you guys i'm really excited now i do have on my glam light icing primer i'm gonna ride that till the wheels fall off people let's create something beautiful so i'm gonna go in with the shade trappa which is that mustard kind of it's like a boogie <laughs> boogie green <laughs> shade let's do one look on each eye that way we can hopefully use all of the shades and the thing about it is if you have his freaking bats and you don't want to change it and you're fine with it then this can be some just some look inspo you know i i do like these matte shades a lot like at first some people were asking me to um, dupe the mattes too. I didn't do the mattes yet though, but I can still work on finding matte shades. I know I didn't have any dupes in my collection of these mattes though, I can say that. My matte singles collection needs a little bit of work, but shimmers, we've got the shimmers covered. So this is going on beautifully over the primer. This is a really good primer if you are interested. I don't know, like, you know, if you're not buying something from Glam Light, would you just get on there for the primer? I'm not sure. And there's other primers that you can get. But if you were buying something from Glam Light, like, I would throw one of these in the cart. So there we go. I want to go right into my new handbook shade, y'all, which is Pear Tree by Sydney Grace. And I am just putting on my finger. Now, in my last video, I use some different you know uh methods i did a finger i did a brush i wet it i didn't wet it we're just not wetting it i'm i'm not wetting it i'm gonna use it as is how beautiful is this shade yes yes love this and that's it for that i'm going to take this shade adams i'm gonna put adams on the outer corner which is this shade here i'm just gonna tap that in putting it a little bit above the crease 
and then I'm also going to take it down on the outer part of the lower lash line just to connect and I'll start with what's left on the brush and then go in when I need more this almost looks like the look I did the other day with the um not normal palette kind of but that's gorgeous and quick is the thing remember I told y'all it's all about having ease Let's go in with the shade Spooky, and we're gonna put that on the rest of the lower lash line. Changed up, and I'm using a rougher number two. The other two brushes I use are Morphe brushes from the original Coca-Cola collection. The first one is just your basic fluffy brush, and the second one is just a smaller version of that. That's good for the crease. And let's just put this under here. Love this Periwinkle Blue, very beautiful. I do have a copacetic shade that I believe is this color. I can't remember what it's called. Let's take the shade Cadet, which is Sam, and put this on the inner corner. Dragging it under just a little bit and up top just a little bit. Let me just do another little quick blend here. But we have a look y'all and because I didn't have to fool around with those shimmers it was just a quick 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 look you know now like I said you know I will work with certain shades but then some I'm just like no or a shade you know what I'm saying but if it's gonna be five shades in the palette no no thank you no ma'am let's go to the other eye and this time I am going to go with the shade spooky on or in the transition area just gonna tap that in and then blend it out all right we're gonna leave it like that taking my crease brush and going into the shade dairy which is this beautiful deep deep plum putting that here on the outer corner as well as in the crease Just blending it up and over and just trying to make sure that I can see this deep shade above my hood. And you can't. So I don't want to be too much. I'm trying to blend it so there's not like a nice little gradient. I'm pulling it out here. Now I'm also going to take what's left if there is anything and just brush underneath. I don't want it to be too, too dark. And I'm keeping it on the back portion of the lower lash line. That's what we've got. Let's go into the shade Zero, which is Dark Matter by Terra Moons, y'all. I cannot wait. Okay. I cannot. Ooh. Like, just. <laughs> Why? Why? Beautiful. How pretty. How pretty is that? Gorgeous. Mm, mm. All right, let's do grim on the um, lower lash line. How about that? No one said we can't have shimmer on the lower lash line. I know some people don't like to, but we can do that. We'll bring it down just a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm. And now we're going to take our new apparition shade which is mythical by sydney grace just taking it all the way up i'm gonna take handbook and i'm gonna put that in the inner corner of course you didn't have to go as low with um, the grim shade but it's just that's kind of the vibe of the palette for me so i wanted to all right here is look number one Let's see if we can there we go and look number two let me know which one is your favorite and let me know what you think about these new shimmers. I'm gonna go put on a liner mascara yes and that's it and i'll be right back to sum up okay you guys so here is the final look um before i zoom in i use the shade specter from the teresa is dead and lethal collab on my top lashes or top lid i used a white color pop 
cream gel liner on the bottom. Now for mascara, I used What The Fake. This is by Essence. It is a volumizing and lengthening mascara. So I have been trying some different mascaras out lately, especially since I haven't been doing lashes. So let's go ahead and zoom in. And here are both looks. Let me know what you think. So overall, I'm really happy with the shadows that I chose as dupes for the originals. I'm really happy with both looks. I'm happy with the way that the shimmers perform on my eyes for me. And I now know that this is a palette that I am gonna use and treasure in my collection because to be honest with you, I probably wouldn't just pull this palette out to use the mattes, even though I did enjoy them. I'm not gonna dig for its freaking bats for four shades. I'm just not. So now I know this is something I'm gonna use. And again, I really adore this color story. It's so different and so special. It just would be a shame to not use it and enjoy it. So I've now customized this and made it something that I can enjoy. If you have the palette and like it the way it is, I hope that these looks did give you some inspiration for something that you can do with the palette. And so we all win. So thank you all so much for taking out some of your time and hanging out with me today for this video. I hope this was therapy for you because it definitely was for me. And until I see you again, make sure you are being gentle with yourself. Talk to yourself nice, stay safe, and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye.